Healthy animals are closely related to healthy people and a healthy environment. Monitoring animal health and preventing animal disease outbreaks is vital to the economy and safety of the country. In recognition of this, the Veterinary and Livestock Department of the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands will focus on best practices in prevention and control of priority diseases and animal health through a series of animal health outreach clinics in 2020. Acting Chief Veterinary and Livestock Officer Dr. Kimond Cummings underscores the importance of this drive. The aim of, the, um, of these outreach clinics is really to um, provide uh, good quality veterinary services to, um, to the farmers over there who more or less uh, may not be able to really afford the services. And um, secondly, we want to ensure that we strengthen the relationship that the ministry has with the farming community. The drive, which will be undertaken island-wide, kicked off with the first animal health outreach clinic at the Woburn Playing Field on Tuesday, 21st January. The Vet and Livestock Department was supported by the officers of the Southern Agricultural District throughout the day, as they offered services such as rabies injections, deworming medication, wound management, hoof trimming, best management tips, and others. Mrs. Yoland Lord Tellesford, livestock specialist attached to the Southern Agricultural District, spoke of the importance of hosting the clinic in the Woburn area. What we realize is that in this area, we have a lot of, um, of people in the community doing tethering, tying the animals. Some have one or two um, animals, and um, there are a lot together, and what you find, can find is contamination. We went out and for a do to do campaign. We talked to the, the different people, find out what was the problems with the animal hunting and therefore we saw it fitting to start with the clinic in this area. Yeah, because of the the, the volume of the quantity of animals that you find here. The team also ventured into the surrounding areas to treat and offer support two farmers with more than five animals. Farmer Eunice Nelson was able to get all 43 of her livestock treated during the drive on Tuesday. Well, it benefits me greatly in the sense that right now I don't have to buy a, um, a lot of medicine. Um, I don't have to think of rabies that much because um, as the dry season, from time to time you will see mongoose running in and, in and, in and out. So you don't always have to think about the rabies. So it's a great benefit. Dr. Cummings says that the series of clinics gives the department an opportunity to explain the diseases and issues affecting livestock and other animals to farmers and animal owners. And it gives you the opportunity to, um, to establish what's really on the ground in terms of diseases and then um, you're now left with the task of um, figuring how would you prevent um, an outbreak uh, mm -hmm. not just prevent an outbreak, but how would you deal with this particular situation? So prevention and eradication. As we put on the, you know, most, more and more clinics, we're hoping to, uh, to expand those numbers. So two to three hundred farmers every clinic that we go into. Um, you know, the ministry is, 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 you know, investing heavily in those programs um, because we understand the need, you know, um, of those farmers, ensuring that they have the technical assistance um, bringing the services to them, right? And we understand that not every farmer has the, you know, the privilege of um, employing or, you know, having the opportunity to call a private um, practitioner or a private clinician. So it's 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 of critical importance for us to actually bring the service to those farmers. So as we as we we move into doing more and more of those clinics, we're hoping to. Um, we're hoping that the outcome in terms of the farmers' numbers would increase. So. During the clinic, animals will be given preventative vaccines treated for internal and external parasites. And in addition, these clinics will provide opportunities to educate and offer advice to owners and farmers of at home and on the farm care, nutrition and behavior. Reporting for the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Mina Booker.